This was made. Oh, this was made. I don't know who the hell makes these at home, but <laughs> do. Uh, that's the name to make it seem like it's more homey. We're not doing this episode on these, but these are a necessary component. We're doing this episode on this bad boy. So a lot of the time on this was made, I roast things because you know they they taste awful. They're bad. This probably isn't going to taste the best either, but that's not why I'm roasting this. I'm roasting this because both of these components combined are a complete and total ripoff. I have this for the same price as this. I mean, how much do you think this costs to make? Maybe 10 cents? You're getting ripped off, you're getting taken for a ride, and the sauce that you get is smaller than what you would get in one of those small little tins. Ah, I got you covered. Dollar Tree does too. I've got some jalapeno cheese dip. It has an ingredients list that is a mile long. This one's ingredients list is a lot longer because it has chips in it as well, so. But in comparison with this, you can kind of see this does not have ingredients that are a mile long. And in fact, most of the ingredients on this come from the oil that it's boiled in. Again, is the nice abstract to your college essay. Whew. Jesus Christ. But the taste test is what you're here for. And we are gonna roast these things for tasting bad. Ew. Oh boy, this looks awful. That was terrible. Wait, 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 watch, he'll stop and he'll move. Nacho cheese. Yeah, you're nacho cheese. And, uh, <laughs> so this is what you get. It is disgusting. It reminds me of a scrambled egg that was cooked. And it tastes like what you would get from a stadium. You know, you go to one of those events, maybe your school and you buy like nachos and cheese, maybe at a movie theater. And it's like, this vaguely resembles cheese. So we're gonna crack this open. It's so nice of them. I don't actually have to go get a can opener, so points for that at least. Slash my hand open with the sharp edges, so I don't know. And this also has a lot of ingredients in it, as you can see, gets you into college. Which one actually is the better value? Regular nacho chip, not something really small and circular. Here's a nice comparison. And this is the cheese, which as you can see, isn't solid entirely, and is very slowly sliding out, which means it's a little bit better than the other cheese there. I mean, hands down, this is better, but like, <laughs> where I would give this a one out of 10, I'd probably give this a five out of 10. If you double your investment of a whole $2, you not only get a full can of cheese, but you also get a full bag of nachos. Instead of just having a nice little tray like this and that disgusting cheese there, so you get a hell of a lot more for $1 more. And that's all it takes. So this was made. Um, would I suggest getting the Arizona nachos? No, I would not. This is stuff I would see at a high school. I probably shouldn't be spending a lot of money on these tracks. 